10 real-life Rocky Balboas and 10 times we saw them meet their maker. These are 10 legendary MMA chins that got cracked. Justin Gaethje. Just do a quick Google search on the word tough and you'll find a picture of Justin Gaethje staring back at you. Win, lose, or draw, this former World Series of Fighting champion will do the most to make your life a living hell. Sure, you can hurt him, keep him at bay, but his insane recovery ability allows him to regroup and pile on the pressure. Just when you think you've put him down, he springs up, ready to unload a fresh batch of punishment. But when Gaethje first came to the UFC, his second fight against Eddie Alvarez proved to be the first case of him biting off more than he could chew. Alvarez had a real tough time in there with the highlight, but when the third and final round came, some excellent body work and knees in the clinch allowed him to turn the tide dramatically to steal a win. Gaethje was caught by a superb knee to the face, and as he fell to the canvas, it was clear that, for once, he wasn't about to stand back up. Robbie Lawler even the greatest chins have their off switch. And though Robbie Lawler had been knocked out early in his career, the way he managed to rebound and eventually capture UFC gold was truly something to behold. Hard as nails and nearly impossible to outlast, Lawler's legendary battles with Rory McDonald and Carlos Condit do a better job than I ever could at describing this man's toughness. But all good things have to come to an end. And when Lawler's day came, man, it was a rough night. Tyron Woodley had worked his way into his UFC 201 title shot against the champion. Though he was dangerous, there was an expectation that Lawler would once again prove his greatness. And boy, were we wrong. After a slow start, Woodley began to stalk the 170-pound king, pushing him to the fence before uncorking a bazooka of a right hand, stiffening the champion there and then to begin his own era at welterweight. Nate Diaz Nowadays, Nate is widely known as a guy who can't be knocked out. Or, so that's his reputation. He's taken shot after shot from the likes of Conor McGregor and Jorge Masvidal. Diaz is unwilling to accept a KO defeat, and is blessed with inhuman recovery skills that come directly from his insane commitment to cardio. But what if I told you that Nate Diaz's chin has already been cracked in a destructive fashion? Well, before he pulled off the resurgence of a lifetime by handing Conor McGregor his first defeat in the octagon. Nate was in a bit of a rough spell himself. A dominant defeat to Rafael Dos Anjos really gave his title ambitions an unwanted wake-up call. But prior to that, in 2013, it was the former Strikeforce champ Josh Thompson who really managed to put a beating on him. The fight was going well, until Nate was caught with a perfect head kick in the second round, before Thompson managed to unload a brutal barrage to force the TKO stoppage, the first and only defeat by strikes of Diaz's career. Korean Zombie you know a guy is tough when his name is officially listed as Korean Zombie for most of his UFC outings. And man, could this dude take a shot to the jaw. Chan Sung Jung has been a mainstay within the featherweight division for over a decade now, and the fact that he just fought Alexander Volkanovsky for the featherweight title tells you all you need to know about his longevity. But when his mileage finally caught up with him, it was one of the most incredible sights the octagon has ever seen. Zombie was doing a great job in a truly memorable fight, beating Yair Rodriguez and just seconds away from what looked to be a comfortable but entertaining victory on the scorecards. And then it happened. Challenged to a stand and bang in the final seconds, Jung rushed in to close the show, and Yair, in a moment of pure magic, ducked his head down and came up with a reverse elbow, starching the seemingly unstarchable Korean zombie. Jose Aldo We've all watched great champions lose their throne, but nothing could have prepared us for the fall of this featherweight king. For the best part of a decade, this Brazilian legend was as impressive a force as any champion in the game. Equal parts vicious and methodical, the type of champion who looked like he was set to retire with the belt under his control. But then, something happened that changed the fight game forever. A brash, outspoken new contender emerged. A fighter who didn't just talk the talk, but had the track record and the truly violent resume to back it up. Conor McGregor tormented Jose Aldo from the moment they met, doing everything in his power to unsettle the champion, eventually getting him so angry that Aldo made a career-altering mistake. In the opening seconds of Aldo McGregor at UFC 194, Jose's 10-year unbeaten streak came to a shocking end, when in a truly out-of-character error, he overextended, falling victim to Connor's counter left hand. Aldo fell to the canvas, sparked unconscious, his legendary run of dominance at an end. Frankie Edgar 
Sorry to remind you of this one, folks. Frankie Edgar for many years had been something of a people's champion within the UFC, known as much for his uncoachable grit and determination as he is for his successes across three different weight classes. It was damn near impossible to hate on Frankie during his best years. But when his truly legendary chin was finally cracked, there was a silence, an eeriness around the arena that told us everything we needed to know about Edgar's legacy. Facing the comparatively huge Brian Ortega, Frankie was tasked with trying to stop one of the most impressive finishers the 145-pound division had ever known. And while we were all expecting some interesting exchanges on the mat, it was Ortega's physicality that was truly the game-changer. Edgar had virtually nothing to threaten T-City with on the feet, and once Ortega sensed this, he began to pile on the pressure, eventually stunning the former 155-pound champ with an elbow before one extremely brutal fight-ending sequence. With Frankie clearly dazed, Ortega fired off a picture-perfect uppercut, one that lifted his opponent off his feet, making him the first man to finish the answer in his 13-year career. Anderson Silva this legendary middleweight champion lives by the sword and dies by the sword. His reign atop the UFC middleweight division had seen him develop an invincible aura, finding his way to a UFC record 16 unbeaten matchups in a row. Silva did it all. He finished fights on the feet, on the ground, could evade his opponent's attacks like they were nothing. And when he did get tagged, his ability to recover was truly exceptional. There was an almost playful energy to Anderson as he did his best work, the way he toyed with his adversaries as they tried to take his head clean clean off, but when you play with fire, there's a good chance you'll get burned. Chris Weidman rose to the top of the middleweight pile, representing a new breed of 185-pound fighters. His wrestling was a major threat, but it was his confidence in the face of the champ that truly stood out. And when Silva tried to clown on him like he had done with so many others, Weidman was unfazed, extending his combination to drop Silva, stealing away his belt by becoming the first fighter to crack his chin. Fedor Emelianenko if you were an MMA fan in the 2010s, you'll no doubt remember when the great Fedor Emelianenko went from MMA god to shockingly mortal man. After 10 straight years of dominance, Fabricio Verdum was the first to beat Fedor, before Antonio Bigfoot Silva battered him to a doctor's stoppage. But it was the natural middleweight Dan Henderson that truly broke the last emperor's will. After being stunned himself in the opening round, Hendo managed to scramble, reverse position, and unload some heavy artillery on the former pride champ. Just like that, the fight had been called, with Henderson knocking him out before we even had a chance to fully register what had happened. Jorge Masvidal Jorge Masvidal's resurgence in recent years was full of mental and technical improvements. But physically, Gamebred was a different beast once 2019 rolled around. That power, that finishing instinct, his confidence, these things were not overly present during his earlier years. But one constant, even in his youth, was Masvidal's reputation as an iron-chinned warrior, and he carried his steel jaw through his resurrection right up until he met his maker, Kamaro Usman. See, Usman needed to make a statement. The fans, and Jorge along with them, have been writing him off as a boring fighter, a wrestle-heavy champion who plays it safe whenever possible. And when he first fought Masvidal, that's pretty much how it went down. But virtually no one could have predicted the outcome of their rematch. Usman completely destroyed Jorge's chin, catching him clean with a huge straight right that looked like something out of a Rocky movie. Mark Hunt I know Jorge Masvidal has the belt to show for it, but on a list of BMFs within the sport of MMA, if Mark Hunt's not on your list, you'd best make a point of educating yourself. Sure, the Super Samoan had his fair share of stoppage defeats in kickboxing, but when it came to MMA, this dude's endurance was truly otherworldly. There are highlights from Mark Hunt's prime that show him standing, hands down, in front of his opponent, calling on them to punch him in the face. That is a level of confidence in your chin that just isn't normal. But like all the other names on this list, when Mark Hunt's number was finally called, it wasn't pretty. Melvin Manhoff was the first fighter to break Hunt's ironclad jaw in MMA, coming into their bout in Japan as an athlete who had competed everywhere from 170 pounds all the way up to heavyweight. One look at Manhoff's frame will tell you all you need to know about how this one played out. Despite Hunt being the far heavier man, it took just 18 seconds for Melvin to spark him unconscious, connecting cleanly on a shot that, realistically, would have broken every other chin mentioned on our list. 